So one of the reasons that I love Bethesda games so much are the absolutely insane side quests that end up turning into two hour long adventures. Well, that happened to me last night. When I was jumping from system to system, I came across a distress signal coming from one of the local planets. So I decided to check it out, and to my surprise, what I thought was just a randomly generated outpost ended up being a small town of clones of famous people throughout Earth's history. So fast forward a little bit, one thing leads to another, and suddenly I'm in a civil war between Genghis Khan, Franklin Roosevelt, and Amon Arenas. And then after all that's settled, after the quest is over, I get Amelia Earhart as a companion as one of the rewards. Your ship? She's a beauty. It travels the stars, right? Tell me. What's it like out there? Emergency request. Facility crucible requires vital materials to sustain the mission. Transmitting coordinates on Corinthians 3. End of message. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find this quest and how you can get different rewards based on some of the choices throughout this mission. All right, so the first thing you want to do is head clear over here to the very top of your galaxy map to a place called Chari Boyas? I think it's Chari Boyas or Chari Chari Bidias. I can't tell if that's an O or a, a D. But it, anyway, you come up here. Uh, it is a level 65 area, so if you want to come here early on in your gameplay, uh, just turn the gameplay down to like very easy and you can still handle these enemies and stuff in this location. But do keep in mind, this is a level 65 area and you do have to have a fairly decent upgraded ship. That way you can even get to this area. But once you get here, you're going to receive a distress signal asking you to come, you know, help out this nearby outpost. And the outpost is called Crucible. So when you get to the Crucible, you're going to be greeted by the robot Tobias. He's going to ask you why you're there. You tell him that you're there for the distress signal. And that's when they want you to meet the leader of the town, which ends up being Franklin Roosevelt. And this is where things start to get a little weird because here he tells you that everyone in the town is actually clones from people in Earth's history. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. Where to begin? Ah, maybe an introduction? I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. It is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. Their so-called mission. But what that is, and what we should do about it, is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes violently. Then once you're done talking to Franklin Roosevelt, he wants you to go talk to the other leaders of the town, which are Amon Arenas and Genghis Khan. Here they will tell you that there's some drama going on in the town. Genghis Khan wants himself and his followers to be able to leave the town, but they can't leave because they're held hostage by a bunch of robots over at some facility. So we then discover that Franklin Roosevelt doesn't want anyone to leave the town. He believes that they should all stay there. And then Amon Arenas believes that she's the reincarnation of the real Amon Arenas, and she's having a hard time coming to terms with the fact that she's a clone. Anyway, there's a whole lot of drama between the three of them, and they want you to go check out the facility and then report back to them with your findings. For the next phase of the mission, you discover that they all arrived on a spaceship, and then you're tasked to go find the sister ship out in outer space to then get some access codes for the facility that you were just at. Once you clear out the abandoned spooky spaceship floating in outer space, head back to the camp, and here you will discover that the three leaders are having a bit of a disagreement. You cannot bargain with the point of a sword. Either pledge to let us go now, or there will be battle. I do not fear it. We are at an impasse. The facility and its test and mission are flawed. And if you are allowed to author that test, then 
You control us all. So the answer is we are all imprisoned here? You leave us no choice but to join the renegades and end your society. Twenty years. What? We have to stand on our own two feet to earn a chance at freedom. So let the outsider reprogram the facility, and for twenty years we work together to make Crucible truly ours. And after, we institute a test, which we both offer with mutual veto power. And any who pass may leave. Do not let the politician cloud your head with pretty words. We could kill them, kill them all, and then we could dictate any terms we like. Now here's where things get interesting, because you can have three different outcomes for this quest depending on your choices, and depending on those choices can give you three different outfits. Now it's going to give you the option to side with any of the leaders here. Uh, you can either side with Franklin Roosevelt, you can side with Genghis Khan, and pretty much whatever outcome you choose, you're going to be in some sort of gunfight. Now whoever you kill is the outfit that you're going to get. So if you want to get all the outfits, I recommend you kill pretty much all of them. But I decided to side with uh, Franklin Roosevelt and I ended up getting Genghis Khan's outfit. But if you decide to side with Genghis Khan, then, then obviously you're going to get Franklin Roosevelt's outfit. Uh, so these are three unique outfits in the game that you can only find here. So if you're interested in any of these outfits, I personally like the look of Franklin's suit the best. I mean, who doesn't want to run around wearing a suit? But once you're done with the little mini civil war and you choose your side, once the mission is finally over, you can then talk to Amelia Earhart and then she will become your newest companion that you can bring on your adventures. Now she's actually pretty cool because she comes with level two piloting and level two rifling. So if you want to give her a rifle and take her out on your adventures, she's actually pretty good in combat. And surprisingly, she does have quite a bit to say. I didn't think she was going to have very many voice lines, but she comments on things quite frequently. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy your new outfits and you enjoy your new Amelia Earhart companion. I was certainly surprised when I found this quest. It ended up being a ton of fun and it was definitely goofy and wacky. It, I mean, it was completely out there, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. If it helped you out, then please give this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future Starfield videos. And that's going to do it for me, guys, and I will talk to you all in my next Starfield video.